importantly, how are you doing? How are you feeling? And what happened last year around mid late summer? Well, basically, to answer your first question, I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> now that we've cleared I'm good, that but up. I didn't have a lot of headlines written about no, me. No, you and... didn't. Somebody needs a little therapy. What's wrong? <laughs> Recovering from her physical and emotional breakdown. I'm trying to understand things in life right now. Obviously exhausted and not thinking clearly. Basically, I exhausted myself because I was working 21-hour days for at least two or three months straight. Most everyone who's written about this has at one time or another referred to it as a breakdown. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the, from your camp came a statement that referred to it as a physical and emotional breakdown. No, it was not a nervous breakdown. There was a lot of different things. It was, it was an emotional and physical. More than anything, it was my body saying, stop. Your body can only withstand so much. Sleep deprivation is real. But I think, you know, your average... Joe, Joe doesn't pack, understand right. exhaustion. Right, might think, well, why doesn't she go take a nap? Right, go take a nap, and guess what? Basically, that's all I needed. But the right. point is, you know, half-hour naps on a 21-hour day consistently don't add up. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm saying it's my own fault for not putting my foot down and sticking up for myself earlier and saying, no, I need a lunch break. No, I need, like, a half-an-hour dinner break. Yeah. You know, and yes, I need at least six hours of sleep every night. But... Prior to that, where it all really stemmed from is the fact that I grew up poor, I come from an interracial family, I always felt like the rug could be pulled out from under me, and I've always had this incredible work ethic where I was afraid that if I didn't work twice as hard as everybody else, I wouldn't succeed, and everything I'd worked for my whole life would be gone, and I'd be back living in like a little tiny room in a shack. So, you know, if I had an in-store and I hadn't slept for 20 hours, I would never blow off an in-store or not go because I might disappoint one fan. What I needed was to just have some boundaries in my life to take care of myself, to say no sometimes because I never wanted to say no because I never wanted to let the fans down because I don't know how and I didn't I do know a little bit better now but I never knew how to draw the line can you say with pretty uh, pretty much confidence that a breakdown is not yeah, what happened I, you know what when I read like the quote that was physical and emotional breakdown I was like breakdown and then I was like you know what I can live with that but it wasn't like I went schizo and was like five different personalities and needed to be put in a straitjacket right. or tried to kill myself like they were saying right. they were saying I had splashed my wrists and done all this stuff and it's like none of that occurred there was talk about the messages that were left on the website right, talk right, about right. broken glass mm -hmm. and all these things that led to all these rumors that you might right. have tried to to hurt yourself you know right exactly so the broken glass thing had nothing to do with me trying to hurt myself i, I broke a glass by accident but the message on the website was me saying thank you nothing's wrong you don't have to do anything to anybody i just need break because I know I don't say this very much, but guess what? It's time to take care of myself. It was a rambling message, but it was one of about a hundred rambling messages I had left. But it, it would sound to a listener like, okay, something's wrong. And something was wrong. Right. I was totally exhausted. I needed to go to sleep. Uh -huh. And I needed rest. And I needed people to leave me alone and stop banging on my freaking door to get up and do a video. Touch me, touch me. You know, people point to that uh, the appearance on TRL when you came on TRL. Oh, I know. The drama, the saga of the TRL. What are you doing? Like, we were doing Dateline, and suddenly I went into, like, a striptease burlesque show. I'm right. like, it's TRL. I thought we were supposed to feel at home right. and do stupid stuff. <laughs> as far as you're concerned, that was just being silly and fun. As far and... as I'm concerned, I was doing having food fights on MTV three right. years ago for Thanksgiving. Did anybody right. see that? I'm not going to stop being me because people don't, you know, get me. Sure. Only thing I wish I would have done is had a better camera angle. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do after performance, when I get the opportunity, is to actually sit down and meet with and talk to my fans. I had a lot of questions. I just wanted to chop it up with you, talk about the new album. Okay. Do you have your tambourine on? Yes. Can I see it? Yeah, but it's and not... Can you it's say, not like, gonna... what... Okay, what do you see what comes are on Okay, it's some of not... them I'm going to keep, like, private, because this is not the one... For the album, I have one that's that represents each song, mm -hmm. but it's not done yet, so it's like, um... It's like a, a different version, a more toned-down version of mm -hmm. my little one. It's not going to have these. Some of these are kind of nonsensical, but... Okay. Oh, wow. So... Oh, I know. All right. All right. I knew. But, okay. Butterfly. Butterfly. Lamb. 
Cross. Cross. All right, a dolphin. Because you like dolphins? Yes, indeedy. Three, two, seven, your birthday. Yes, that's wow. Good. Okay, oh, wow. Let's, let's get this going. <laughs> Who's that? Hello, Kitty. Yeah. I know. Please. Corley Corley Clover. Clover. Dolphin. Wow. It's actually it's beautiful. It Thank you. But the album one has, like, I got a little bit deeper, and they're more antique charms. I was talking to my one, one of my cousins um, on my father's mother's side, and she was talking about my grandmother, how she used to have this big gold charm bracelet and just, like, mm -hmm. had all these things. And one of the charms on there was a mustard seed, and she was talking about how it, it represents faith. It's from the Bible. It's mm -hmm. basically, yeah, if you have, I mean. you know, faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. I know that, you know, your being biracial has been a big part of you. When my mother married my father, her family disowned her. So what does that do to your sense of self? She wants the, so I give her the, that's screaming out.